Hey guys, wanted to try to pick a challenge lock here. We have a challenge lock by Gantry, and it is his first one, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, let's try to give it a pick here. Really don't know how I want to tension this looking at this keyway, but I'm going to try a couple of different things here. I'll just no, that's not gonna fit. Looks like it might have to go in counterclockwise. Because it is a schleg. Just a lot of space in there, but. Okay, I'll try to pick this real quick before my wife comes down. I know the, my daughter has to go to school in less than 10 minutes or so, but. Okay, pin one is set. Had trouble getting under that at first. You know what? I want to try the other direction here. I feel like I should be able to get it in there. No. It's too jammed. That won't work. Um, and I'll just try top of the keyway. Lot of clicks in the front here. I need something deeper just to reach the pins. Getting some counter from five. Three is set now. Four is giving me some counter. One is set, two's giving me some clicks, but five wants to give me some counter. Alright, two gave me some counter there as well. Three is set. Four is giving me some counter. I feel like could have gone in. Probably gonna overset that.
Okay, I got a really super deep false set here. Oh, even deeper. Jeez. All right, wow, that was super deep in the back there. As you can see, I was quiet the whole time. Man, that was fun. What a nice first lock. Okay, I'm not gonna lock that up. Man, that was a rush, holy cow. Let me, uh, man, not that prepared here. Let me find my Schleg tool. And hopefully not lock this back up, but there is a key. Oops, no, we're still good. So I know my wife is supposed to take my daughter to school. But I do not hear the boys upstairs, so I'm kind of worried. But hopefully there's no death or destruction going on up there. She might have been nice and brought him here because she knows I've been trying to, or brought him with her to school. I usually just try to help her out on my days off so she doesn't have to wrangle all three of them up, but. Okay. Yeah, we'll do this quick either way. Just to make sure whenever any parents know when the kids get quiet, that's when trouble starts. Actually, better lower myself here. Cool, now I have a, one more lock I can send to Mr. Bacardi and I have one more to finish making today. It's kind of like a, not a I wouldn't want to say a set of, uh, set of locks, but two that are gonna go together for now. I just need to get a key made for the pins that I've already cut. Okay, there's everything from the bottom. And I guarantee you he's done some work up here because you can see that there's some JB weld holding that thing on. Um, there we go, sorry, losing my tweezers. I'll be so happy to have a real pinning tray here soon. I don't know if anybody well, I know you guys watch Sightless Senshi now, and if you guys haven't, you should go check them out, but... Yeah, I won, uh, I won that blind pick challenge. I was so excited. Really, really wanted to win, too, because, like I said, I need a real pinning tray. Half the time, these things are all taken up by challenge locks I'm putting together. Okay, I don't think that's wants to come out but that's all right there's a spring from three though yep. hold on one sec Ow. there notice my lighting was pretty bad I just had to turn on the other light real quick okay Here we have serrated. Um, 
Oh, there it is. Okay. It's a serrated spool. That's really cool looking. Copper spring up top. There's a spool right there. Maybe not. It's a uh, serrated. Yeah, it looks like it would have gone in that direction. I know when I cut my pins now, sometimes I try to make sure you guys can differentiate which end goes in, unless uh, unless I just try to make it nice and uh, even on both sides. But all right, let's start with chamber one. You see, we've got a variation of serrations on the whole thing. It's a pretty cool pin. Here we've got a really deep spool in two. It's also a very nice pin. Yeah, for a first lock, this is a really good one. There's a regular, I don't want to say a regular serrated, but you know, it kind of looks more like a stock serrated pin. Pretty nice. There's some very small serrations on pin four there. Pin five, we've got a nice deep spool. And up top, we've got a serrated in one. And two, we've got a T-pin that kind of, yeah, it acts, looks like a T-pin, but it could also be a slight spoolish kind of thing in there. But yeah, that's the direction it came out, so I want to say it's probably, yeah, it's definitely a T-pin. I was just covering up the bottom too much there. Super, super fine serrations on that. And I will show you the mods to the core and stuff in a second here because I forgot to do that. There's another really nice serrated. That's it's a very good looking pin. And then we've got, ooh, look at those serrations on that serrated spool. That's really cool too. Okay. I think I just heard a kid coughing upstairs, so I better get up there. And we have... One, three, and four are threaded. Two and five are undercut. That would explain why it was difficult to get that last pin set. I was trying to like rotate it manually. And then up top, it looks like we have one. No, that's five. Anyway, actually I can't remember. I'll have to go look. But we have uh, threads in... Yeah, I can't remember which one this spring didn't come out of. I think it was, I think it was actually pin two. So that could be one, three, and four with the threads up top. But yeah, that was Challenge Lock by Gantry. First one, you never forget your first. And this one was sent to me by West Coast Picks, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, sent to me by West Coast Picks. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, talk to you later. Bye.